Hello, my name is Matias Cavodi. Welcome guys to my channel. Today, we're going to talk about Venom Volume 2. This is the Agent Venom era of this character. So the host is going to be Flash Thompson. He was a really interesting Venom. I liked it a lot. Uh, his relationship with the symbiote is uh, different from what we got later on with Eddie Brock. Um, character that really struggles in being a hero. Like, he's... he's his heart is gold, like through and through. He he wants to be a hero. He's admired Spider-Man his whole life, but he has drinking problems. He's very flawed, uh, having a secret identity. Also really hurts his relationships. He's having a hard time balancing everything out. Uh, another interesting dynamic of the series is that he doesn't have the symbiote with him all the time. At first, it was controlled by the government, later on by the Avengers. But when he's away from the symbiote, he, like, he wants it to have it on more and more. Like He's becoming dependent on the symbiote itself. So in issue 16, it's a really good standalone story where Flash has to deal with the human fly. He's like a C-list Spider-Man villain, but he's like a recurring villain in the series. Remender, Rick Remender does a really good job using this villain, making him really interesting. Uh, him and jack o -Lantern, those are like the two big bad guys in this series. The biggest pain, pains for Agent Venom's butt. So he's been captured in a previous story, uh, taking him to another prison. And Human Fly tells um, Flash, who's accompanying him, making sure he goes to prison and doesn't get, get out. It's like, hey, look, Kingpin put a price on my head. Uh, <laughs> I stole a lot of money from him. I'm basically a dead man. Let me go. I have a kid. I stole all this money. Actually, it's for him. Please think it over at least or just help me get this money to my kid. I have a note that I'm going to give to you so I can give you so you can take it to my child. So he's sort of winning Flash over. He, like, he knows he's full of shit, but like, he, he wants to believe him. So what happens is, effectively, Kingpin sends one of his main enforcers during this time, which was Hobgoblin. This Hobgoblin was actually the good Green Goblin during the mid-90s. That For some reason, he totally flipped out and became Hobgoblin with a, a flaming sword. So we basically have like this three-way battle between Agent Venom... Ah, Goblin, and Human Fly. And it's really awesome. And just give me one second because I love the art. This is Kev Walker. Like, his art style really goes well with this story, with Rick Remender's style, with these particular characters, too. It really works. So, Age of Venom is trying to keep uh, Human Fly alive. The experience of a hero, like, he's pretty much a rookie. Uh, even though he's a trained soldier, so on and so forth, like everything dealing with these guys is totally new. So he's o always over um, each one of these conflicts. Like he has to figure it out pretty fast how, he, how the hell he's going to deal with each villain. So Hobgoblin gets defeated and Age of Venom wants to stop Human Fly from escaping, but he has to make a decision. Save this security guard who's going to fall off this moving train or capture Human Fly. He does the right thing. He saves the security guard. And when he goes to Human Fly's cell, he finds the, the letter that he, was going to, he had to send to the kid. And the son of a bitch puts in the letter, I don't have a kid. And it's so well written. Like That's why it's such a good standalone story that... Flash almost fell for it. Like he, he almost got talked into letting this guy go, let him go scot free because he thought he had a kid. And nope. So, Human Fly just was going to play him. So, it's a really good standalone story. And the Human Fly, oddly enough, is a really compelling villain in this series. Rick, remember, 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 remember. I have to tip your hat off to you. You made that villain interesting. So, see you guys next time. Next video we're going to do about the series, we're going to talk about the Savage Six story arc. So see you guys next time. Bye.